Right. Let's check it out. Finland are currently in first place. Oh, sorry. With I'm 526 a points. Right. But will they stay there? We have three countries yet to receive their points. Italy, Israel, and of course, Sweden. Will one of them claim the top spot? They're all very popular, these. Could okay. go any way. Next to receive their points is... 200 Italy. pence okay. is Australia. The audience vote has awarded you... 261 pence. Points. Not enough to top of Finland. Got a very good second placing at the moment. 350 points. So with Finland in the lead and Israel and Sweden left to receive their scores, one of those three will be the winner of the Eurovision Song Contest 2023. Could go anyway. Oh, very soon, Kanush Orchestra will present the Eurovision Trophy to the new winner. Oh, tensions building in the arena. Israel, you are next. Can Noah do it? You get 243 points. Which brings her into second place above Italy. But quite a way behind Finland. Okay, this is the big I'm one. I'm so glad we don't host this every year. I couldn't do it. <laughs> All right, just one country left. Finland. Okay, yes, you love them. Finland is currently in first place. But hang on, because Sweden have yet to receive their score from the public. So it could still take it from them. All right, S Finland, Sweden, are you ready? Oh, we're ready, Graham. What is One of you me? will be the winner tonight. I can tell you that Sweden need a minimum of 187 points to win. I'm doing what Carrie is doing. Okay, I'm standing here we go. now. I'm hovering. I can't sit Sweden. anymore. Sweden! Standing. Here we go. <sighs> the public <sighs> has given you. <sighs> 265 pence. We have a winner! It's Lorraine. Sweden. It's Lorraine. She's. She won in 2012 with Euphoria, and she's done it again tonight in 2023 with Tattoo. Well done, Lorraine. to Lorraine for Sweden. They are off to get ready to perform again. I think it's mushroom that she's wearing, by the way, guys. Or maybe not. Now. This is interesting. Results from the UK viewers are in. We gave one point to Moldova, two to Australia, three to Israel, four to Ukraine, five to Sweden, six to Belgium, seven to Norway, eight to Poland, 10 to Lithuania, 12 to Finland. Just so as you know, oh, the Ukrainian fans are very pleased there. Lorian. She was the bookie's favorite after all. The mighty Sweden. They've got six wins under their belt already. 1974, ABBA, of course. 1984, 91, 99, 2012. That was Lorraine and 2015 with Mons. I think it's sinking in now, isn't it? Look. <laughs> if they win, which they have, they have won, it's going to be very serendipitous because 2024, which is the year they would host next year, marks the 50th anniversary of ABBA's Waterloo win. And I must say here, May Muller has been a brilliant ambassador for the UK. And by the sounds of the crowd in here, there is a lot of love 
Forme Muller, and big things ahead for her. Let's take one more look at that final scoreboard. Our top three, ladies and gentlemen. Israel has finished in third place with 362 points. This year's runners-up are Finland with 500.